Camden Height. Sam Barron. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> You're a very uh, interesting character. Oh, how so? Um, well, <laughs> for a lot of reasons, actually. Um, because you're just, you're very sporadic, I think. Mild to severe ADHD. I've actually... Holy, holy, holy crap. <laughs> I actually, um, don't have ADHD. Oh, so you're just quirky? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Um... We're in a very different environment from all the other episodes. Am I not even You're in the not frame? In the frame. Oh I my gosh! That was I'm, I'm so <laughs> tall that I'm not even in the frame. Yep. Uno momento, por favor. There you go. I was I was looking at that earlier. I was like, does he realize that? Okay. Or... Let's see. You in now? I am now in the frame. Oh sweet. Yes. Okay. Way better. I just assumed that we would be the same height, but no. Because um, I'm, like, just so much taller than everyone that's ever existed. <laughs> uh-huh. and yeah. We're on my front porch mm-hmm. because it's a beautiful 75-degree day outside. It was 74. 74-degree 74 <laughs> day outside. It's only 74 today, so that's it. Um, how's life? It's good. It's kind of actually. I was very stressed earlier. This is really soft. Am I allowed to touch it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the it's the pop filter. Oh. It's the pop filter, so it it's it when you do I, that. I thought they called it like, don't they call it a dead cat in like the film world? No. Well. I could be wrong. Did Nate tell you that? Who told you that? What's your source? I used to work a little bit in film, but not too much, and they would ask me questions. What? Oh, because you were an actress? Don't mention that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you weren't an actress. <laughs> um, I've known you since eighth grade. Really? Yeah. Oh. We, I CCD, like... eighth grade. Oh, my God. I hated you. Oh, my gosh, and you were the Hamilton kid. What? You liked Hamilton a lot. I did like Hamilton a lot, but... a lot of Hamilton when I first met you. That makes me want to kill myself a little bit. (laughs) That's okay. You knew my not-actress stage. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So. So you've never been on a podcast. No, I haven't. Um, Are you nervous, scared, excited, hyped? I actually have no expectations at all. Zero? Yeah, zero. Well, it's pretty much just having a conversation. Oh. Well, it took way too long to get here to just have a conversation. <laughs> you said you sent me an audio message on the way here basically saying, this better be worth it because I, I had this terrifying experience. Oh Tell me about it. So I was literally not even five minutes from leaving my house. I was driving out of my neighborhood and they had, you know when people are cutting down a tree, mm-hmm. like a big tree, and they have like five long trucks? So there was these five really long trucks and like a tree in the middle of like the road. Mm-hmm. And um, there was little gaps in between the trucks, but it was along a curve. So I had no idea what cars were coming on the other side, but I just had to take a leap of faith and start driving on the other side of the road. Mm-hmm. And so I did that, but halfway through, a school bus is coming straight towards me. I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I do? So like pull over, almost running over, or hitting my car into like half cut of a massive tree. Uh-huh. And so as I'm over there, there's these lines of cars like backed up behind the um, school bus and the school bus stops right beside me. I'm like, this is definitely le- illegal. I could not be in this spot right now, but I cannot move. So, like, these kids are crossing the road, and I'm, like, pressing on my brakes, unpressing on my brakes. I'm like, what do I do here? Uh And then um, I almost ran over a kid, but that's okay. As long as it didn't, like, damage (laughs) the car or anything, I'm totally fine. But... If it it damages the kid, that's, that's, that's fine. But if it, if it damages your car, that's where you draw the line. Well, it's not even my car, that's the thing. We're borrowing my grandparents' car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I was like... But there's no gas in it. So I'm like, okay, A, out of gas. <laughs> B, gonna run over a kid. <laughs> but like, that's not the important uh-huh. part. C, I might get arrested because this school bus is right in my personal space bubble of my car. So I'm like, 
I have to wait it out. And I'm like covering my face, even though the windows are absolutely tinted. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, guys, do not look at me right now. This is super embarrassing. And then um, eventually the cars go by and I'm like, okay, I can go. This other car comes whipping around some other corner. And I'm like, dude, I cannot move. Eventually I get out of there. Mm-hmm. It was great. Then I get to Kroger, right? And I'm like getting my gas and everything. And I get to Kroger. And then I'm turning, okay, there's a semi trying to turn right, but I didn't know he was trying to turn right. He was in the left-hand turn lane because he's so big when he turns right, like, he can't. But he didn't turn on his blinker until I was already in the right lane. So I was like, oh, shoot, what am I doing here? And I'm, like, making these huge gestures with the tinted windows again. This guy can't see me. He's, like, three cars above me in the Mm -hmm. semi. It was very embarrassing. And a guy with a dog in his car laughed at me. (laughs) There we go. There, I was, um driving where are we going i was going somewhere oh uh i was going with with uh my girlfriend mina to a track meet yesterday oh track meet where uh in roswell at blessed trinity bt i thought she was homeschooled no she is but she it was a track meet with another school like it was not you guys are supporting another school no, she does this thing with an uh, uh like a Christian school. Oh, cool. She does track with that with them. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, um, but we were driving there, and then we were on the highway, and this guy, he turns on his blinker to get into the next lane, but he gives it one blink. <laughs> <laughs> like you know how you're supposed to give it like a second to show everybody. He goes blink blink, and then goes over. I'm like that is, dude. At least give me two blinks. No. <laughs> at least give me flash flash that you're going. Have you ever, like, been behind a car where they turn on their blinker as, like, they're in the turn lane, not even beforehand, but, like, they're slowing down, so you don't know why they're slowing down, but, like, you're slamming on your brakes because you uh-huh. don't, don't know why they're slowing down, and they're, like, slowly making it to their, does that make sense? They're slowly making it to the turn lane. And you did not describe that well enough. <laughs> okay. Does that, does that ever make sense? So it's not. No, it's I not just like, said you didn't describe it well enough. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Go back. Rewind. Picture this. Picture this. Okay. You're driving. It's a yes. one lane road. Uh huh. The guy in front of you is slowing down. You're like, why are you slowing down? There's absolutely no reason why you should be slowing down right now. Mm-hmm. He slows down. There's no. Okay. There's no turn lane. I'm wrong. When there's not a turn lane. When you turn. He's okay. Wait. <laughs> he's turning right. Uh huh. Right. 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 Left. <laughs> And um, when he's turning right, like, he's already turning, but then he turns his blinker on, like, halfway through the turn. You're like, what's the point of turning your blinker on if you're yeah. already turned? Yeah. That's what I was trying to get to. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I I hate it when people don't use their blinker. It's like, it's what you're, like, you're just, dis- do you not use your I sometimes <laughs> use my blinker, sometimes I don't. I use my blinker even when nobody's there. Like when I'm in my neighborhood okay, and then I do that too. Okay, not in the neighborhood. That's excessive. <laughs> no, I'll be like up the up the road and I will turn left and I'll just turn on my blinker cuz it's just you you're turning so you turn on your blinker to turn. But in a neighborhood? I feel like it's optional yeah. in a neighborhood just like speed limits. I I get so frustrated with my You know what? Maybe I won't say this because my dad might be listening to the podcast, so never mind. It's um, off the record. What? It's off the record. No, it's literally on the record, Camden. <laughs> I'm literally making a record of this. That's how it works. Oh my gosh, there's a dog. That looks like my old dog. That's, uh, that's the Rogers. Oh my gosh. My old dog lived to be 18. 18? 18 years old. I hope Max gets to 18. No, you don't. That poor dog was a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> he should have had like 13. There's no way. He could have lived longer too. And we're like, dude, dude can't see, can't hear, can't use his back legs, barks and howls all day. Like, and he's greasy. Uh-huh. You can't even pet him. He's not even that cute to pet. Okay, he was really adorable. But like petting him, you take your hand off. There's A, a bunch of hair. B, grease mm-hmm. with the hair that doesn't come off for like three days. Mm-hmm. That's the only way you can get him to stop barking. It's really sad. Yeah. Sound sounds like it. Except we had his grave dug two years before he actually died because we thought he would die, but he never did. <laughs> so and Henry's already played in that. Why don't you just put him down at that point? At eighteen, 
when he turned to an adult. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know why dogs, dog years are seven, like are seven. One human year is seven dog years. Do you know why that is? Because they eighteen times seven is a lot of years, and we're like <laughs> okay. I don't know where I'm going with that. Continue. <laughs> why? 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 Because because humans live longer than dogs. So if you extrapolated a dog's life out to the size of a human's life, then you would have seven dog years to one human year. Wait, like, repeat that. Like humans live seven times longer than dogs do. On average. No way. Way. <laughs> I thought dogs lived longer than humans. I had uh, I had Katie on the podcast last week. Katie, love of my life, Katie, if you're watching this. <laughs> she probably will be. Did you watch that episode? Did you know she was on the podcast? She was talking to me. We hung out like a couple weeks ago. She was, yeah, I'm going to be on Sam's podcast. Or she was on your podcast, but I don't know. I don't remember. We painted. We had like the best date ever. It was so <laughs> great. We literally reminisce about that date. Anyway. You talk about it like y'all are dating. We're not. <laughs> but, um, no, just Katie is like a close friend of mine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you you really like painting. You're you're a good artist. I love painting. Actually, sometimes painting can be a pain in the butt, but a paint in the butt. <laughs> so funny um go ahead huh go ahead oh keep talking i enjoy drawing more and like pin stuff but painting's mm. fun sometimes i want to have my own art style but i don't have you seen my mom's drawings the watercolors she's done no but i love watercolors i'll show you after the break okay what break we take a break halfway through oh no way have you did you not do any research before coming on here no. just like i'll wing it <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is actually the second episode I've recorded this week. Really? Who did you record with before? Greg Willits. Greg, is that the dad? Tommy's dad. Yes, I've met him a couple times. Yes, because you've been over there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm very in sync there. There's yeah. This is one of the worst episodes I've done so far. Really? Yeah. Is it because I talk too much? Be so honest. It's it's weird. Be- I think it's because I know you too well. I know. I know so much about you. I don't know what to filter out and what not to like. <laughs> uh-huh. Also, I don't know what to filter out in general. But I, I think I felt the same thing with Tommy when I did Tommy's episode. Really? Because I... I I've talked to him so much, and, like, when we would have sleepovers, we would talk about stuff, like... I know so much of... Or, wait, no. I don't know if I know as much about you as you know about me, because you know a lot about me. I do. Yeah. So it's always super weird. When I look at you, I'm like, he knows a lot about me. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it's like we've known each other for six years. <laughs> six? Let's think. Eighth grade. Oh, five, maybe? Because we're seniors. Yeah. Hold on. So four years ago. Wait, what grade? No, what? Wait, hold on. What age were we when we were in eighth grade? Um, I was 12 in eighth grade. 12, 18 minus 12, six. If I? No, I'm 17. I'm 18. You're, when did, when were you in eighth grade? Well, I gotta count. I don't want to count. That's why I asked you to count. <laughs> I just think because I started high school when I was 13. I don't remember when I started high school. I know that I had braces and glasses, though. I know, too. That was a rough time yeah, in your life. Part, it was a stressful <laughs> time. And I'd get, like, one pimple. I'd be like, oh, my gosh. The world is over. I still do that. I woke up with this. This morning? Wait. Dude, I had one right here. Wait, uh-huh. look right there. Uh-huh. Hurts so bad. It's really ugly, too, on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever, like, feel some <laughs> where you're like, where did that, like, you can feel this one. Okay, this one. Mm-hmm. It doesn't look like anything yet, 
Mm-hmm. Okay, not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> but, Are you um, sure? Like, it's it's pretty big. It and it hurts so bad. But I know, like, if I try to pop it now, it won't pop. But if I wait, like, three days, perfect pop. Like, I, you know. I like popping them. You do. But, like, not as much as, like, some people are. Oh, my gosh. Have you met some of the people who are, like, I want to pop every pimple on every person's back that I've ever seen? Have you, like, met those people? No. They're, Haley's one of those people. Oh, of course she, she is. She literally comes up to my back and she goes, can I pop that? I'm like, what? What? <laughs> that is a pour on my back. And my poor, poor back can't do that. I... I that was one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is Haley and her uh going to ca- college. What about it? So like you've lived with a sister for so long and then she's just gone. Yeah. Like how does how does that affect you? Um I'm going to be so honest. If someone isn't talking to me every day, I completely forget that they exist. <laughs> ben said Haley does the same thing. She does. It's... Yeah, Charlie. <laughs> anyway. Dang it, what were we talking about? Haley. Oh. Wait, what were we talking about with Haley? How she, if she stops talking to someone for a day, she forgets they exist. Oh my gosh, yeah, she does that. I think that's just in general, though, because once, like, some of my friends move to, like, a different school or they go to, like, a different part of their life where we're not as close anymore, I completely, like, kind of forget about them. Mm -hmm. But it's not that I don't care about them anymore. I just forget. Mm -hmm. And I think that's with a lot of people. But with Haley, sometimes... I'll just remember that she's there solely because I'll be, like, in my photos. I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I have a sister. <laughs> like, that's so crazy. Or, like, I'll look around the house and I'll see something that Haley owned. And then, <laughs> and then like, I'll be like, oh, Haley. But then it's just, like, a memory. Uh-huh. But it's not necessarily, like, I mourn for her absence, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, I am leaving for college in July. And Jude's Wyoming. Jude's leaving and going to Pennsylvania in August, and Ben's moving out. Yeah. So how's that going to be on your parents? You're just going to get a burst of freedom all of a sudden. Everyone is. We're all going to leave. But yeah, I feel like I don't talk to you that much anyway, though. Does that make sense? Yeah. Not on you. I'm not saying how that's going to make you feel. Wait. I... But everyone. You said everyone. What? <laughs> you said how that? I was like, how's that going to be on your parents? He goes, how's it going to be for everyone? I thought that I'd be included. No, no, no. Like me and Ben and Jude and mom and dad. Oh, and your family. Yeah. Not everyone in the world. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm like, but you understand where I got misinterpreted there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I I sometimes when I'm thinking about it, I'm like. I, Cause I get so frustrated with my parents sometimes now, where I, cause I'm so close to leaving, like I'm, I'm really close. So I'm like, I'm so mad because I have to listen to you right now, and it's four months until I don't. <laughs> I have a friend who moved out like this year while he's still in school and everything, mm-hmm. and he's living with a bunch of roommates, and this kid cannot stop talking about it. I don't know. He's like loves the freedom. So. <laughs> He's just like, guys, it's so nice and I have to deal with parents. He's like, guys, I want to get you on this train. Move out. <laughs> it's so good. So Do you want to move out? Um, I feel like it's a little scary, but yeah. Yeah. For the most part. Why? Do you feel oppressed? No, I'm just like being alone. <laughs> Not that I'm gonna be alone when I move out, uh-huh. but I will miss Chevy very, very much. Why don't you take him with you? Chevy cannot survive anywhere else other than my house. He's lived there, and he has his own... Who is Chevy, by the way? Chevy's my cat. How old is he? He's like seven. How how many is that in dog years? <laughs> Four, no. 49? Is that well, seven I seven? almost said 14. I'm going to be so <laughs> honest. That's times two, actually. 49. Oh, my gosh. He's almost 50. He's going as fab at 50. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He's kind of a diva, though, so it fits him. You know in Fantastic Mr. Fox, <laughs> where, um, where he's like, 
five and a half fox years later. Yes. I I just think it's I really enjoy it when it's um. I'm just gonna give me give me a solid five seconds of awkward silence real quick. Okay. It would say like a year, two years. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's up? Never mind. <laughs> Um, Charlie Johnson. I said, yeah, Charlie. Anyway, <laughs> it would it would say like two years, and then under it in parentheses, it would be like five and a half Fox years. Yeah. Oh, I love Wes Anderson for that. West Did you watch Grand Budapest Hotel? No, but I've heard great things about it, and everyone's like, "Watch it, Camden." Okay. Watch it, Camden. You idiot. You stupid, <laughs> yeah. l- lame nerd. Oh my gosh. Sometimes this is so unrelated. But you know last names? There's I know of them. There's specific ways to say certain last names. What do you mean? Like, my last name, Height? Yeah. Definitely sounds like a German slur. Think about it. Think about Height. You're such a Height. <laughs> it's so... It's such a German Das Wagen Height! <laughs> you right? <laughs> so, like, what would Baron be? Um, well, Baron has two meanings. One oh. is... <laughs> Not the meaning, but like the sound of it. Oh, burn! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I feel like it'd be more of croaky than that. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Burn. Burn. Um, one time my dad introduced my mom. This was like nine months after they got married, and they were trying to have kids for a while, mm-hmm. and um, and they like didn't have any luck so far um surprisingly they oh, did end up having kids um so weird when people are like i'm trying for a baby i'm like ooh. <laughs> oh i know what that means <laughs> y'all are gross <laughs> yeah. um but they my dad was introducing my mom to someone and and the lady go my mom has been was trying to have kids and she couldn't and um and the lady goes oh you must be the barren wife <laughs> That's so funny. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. It was was pretty funny. I would laugh. I think laughs were exchanged at that point. I don't think my mom took it too seriously. I heard the weirdest phrase today. And it was like, we were talking in like my AP Lit class. And we were talking about polycentiton and his example. About who knew? It's like a literary device is polycentiton. Polycentiton? Polysynthaton. I don't know how to say it. Polysynthaton. Yeah. So What's like, up, man? <laughs> but like, um, it's like getting the senses confused or whatever, mm. or not confused, like mixing them, uh-huh. and but like in words, kind of. Does that make sense? Stop, rub- <laughs> stop rubbing the thing. <laughs> Was I rubbing it on you? Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the camera. You did rub it on my knee. Okay. Wait, does it make different sounds rubbed on different Six things? Six minutes. Um, no, it just but I heard the sound. phrase delicious laughter. Delicious laughter. I don't know what to think about that. When I went to my Grant's funeral, great aunt. Um, <laughs> we both know a Grant, and I was very concerned <laughs> for a very split <laughs> second. But I was like, nobody told me. Anyway, no, no, no. Um, I... My cousin was there. Anna Lee, and she told me she will never forget how memorable my mom's laugh is. Like, because my mom just has such a memorable laugh. And I was thinking, that's what I'm going to say at my mom's funeral, is how you'll n- never forget how how her laugh was. Like a contagious laugh. Yeah. Or it's like, ha, ha, ha. She does like a ba, ba, ba laugh. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know, like, I've mastered my mom's laugh i can't do it anymore but i did at some point Uh because it's like single 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 note and then up note single (laughs) single single note Uh does that make sense it's like (laughs) 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 does does that make sense yeah (laughs) (laughs) it's like like one two three four five six seven do 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 me do 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 (laughs) yeah but 
kind of like goes down a little bit after do. It's uh-huh. like do 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 me do do do. Uh, do Look, it's like a stair fa, step at the so end. La, ti, do ti la so fa mi re do ti la la ti do re. <laughs> Yo, I'm good I went to chorus for two years. One wait no wait. Okay, yeah, one, 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 five, one, negative, negative, one. Oh, no, zero. Wait, that would be... <laughs> <laughs> that would be zero, yeah, it's <laughs> minus one. <laughs> zero, negative one. Wait, hold on. Ha, Take ha, your wait, time. Wait, I gotta do it. Ha, 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 ha. No. <laughs> it's so funny. It made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait, that's uh, way more uh, than I uh, thought. Uh, uh. Wait. Wait, I can't do it anymore because now I'm going to second guess it. Hold on. Wait, no, I'm not doing it. Okay. Okay. But it's on, like, numbers. Do you see it now? Do you, do you have anybody else who has a very memorable laugh? <laughs> Nate. <laughs> I was about to ask. Nate has such a funny laugh because he doesn't laugh very often, but when he does, it's like a giggle. <laughs> he has uh-huh. a fake laugh which I've realized but then he has like a little giggle and it's so funny <laughs> <laughs> and it's like so silent and it's so <laughs> back in his chest uh-huh. but it's like a little high pitched little giggle I don't know how to explain it it doesn't f- seem real when he giggles that's funny it's like, oh, it's like Ron Swanson oh yeah, yeah Nate, Nate does remind me of a young Ron Swanson <laughs> I don't know how to take that. Actually, <laughs> couldn't you see that? Him. Like, if 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 Nate was was forty years older, I couldn't see him with that mustache. Well, give him a whole beard. Ron Swanson has had a beard at some point, right? He doesn't just have a mustache. Is this a Mandela effect? I think he just has a mustache. I'm pulling up a picture of Ron Swanson right now. Well, hmm. How much time do we have? Two minutes. Two minutes and thirty minutes. seconds. Is it condensed? What? It doesn't have like a time limit. Yeah. Oh. It's twenty nine minutes and fifty seconds. Would I don't know if Nate really likes his solitude that much though. I enjoy my solitude so much. But I don't know if Nate does. He does. He just has a mustache. Ha <laughs> ha I win. I I, I could have sworn he had a beard though. No. What would Ron Swanson look like with a beard? It's because I've seen Nick Offerman with a beard. Yeah. Cause like that's that but Ron Swanson. that's Nick Offerman with a beard. Yeah, but that's not Ron Swanson. No. I mean, it is Ron Swanson. Cause I th- I think he had a beard in um when he showed up in Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yeah. Also, maybe Gilmore Girls. He was in Gilmore Girls. Yeah. He played Jackson's brother or cousin or something. Or something. Yeah. He was just there for. Are you like, sure he wasn't Jackson's gay lover, like in Brooklyn Nine Nine? Maybe. I don't know, you don't get much details on him. He's just in there for one episode, and it's like while one of the characters is giving birth, and he's like, I hate this. (laughs) (laughs) Why? I ought to (laughs) punch the baby back in. No, he's like, I don't know why I'm here. You babies. (laughs) Oh my gosh. I, okay, I had this huge, like, disdain for um, children. Like they're sticky and grimy and loud. <laughs> and then for some reason, like this past month or something, I'm like, oh, no, it's ever since I had that weird dream. Did I tell you about that dream? How about we save it for after the break? I'll save it for after the break. But now I had baby fever, but it's gone now. But like for two days, I was like. The maternal instincts kicking in. Yeah, but it's because of this dream that I had like two months ago, which I'll explain later. But all right, we'll be right back after these messages. Oh, that was solid. Wait, wait. Can you hear this? Yeah. That echoed. And we are back from break. Um, it was a very, very short break. Um, two minutes tops. <laughs> yeah, it was actually three hours long you just guys didn't see it oh it's actually remarkable how how much the break changes things really yeah like you once you start the conversation and then you turn off the cameras and then you're able to talk like more personally and then you get back on and you're like closer 
Yeah, because I actually like sobbed during the break. Yeah, like really, <laughs> you were you were an ugly crier too. So it was. And then you started sobbing, and like you had the drool, you had the drool cry. <laughs> yeah. Like, not going into your mouth. Stop. <laughs> um, yeah. What is your? What do you want to be when you grow up? Good question. I don't know yet. Okay, actually, I do know, but I'm not really proud of it. Because it's not really something I can be super stable in until, unless I work really hard at it, uh-huh. which is annoying. I just want to be stable and not have to work really hard at something. Mm-hmm. But I really enjoy um, do like making art. Yes. Like, for the purpose of making art. I also enjoy that. Yeah, and like I always have a meaning behind my artwork, and I always like – does that make sense? I always have a meaning behind my artwork. At least, sure. At least the big pieces that I make, like the ones that I spend a lot of time on, they always have like something um, to them, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. And I want to do that for so long because I enjoy what I create and I have fun in seeing the progress that I can like go through with, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But then like when it comes to having a career in anything art, you have to be like really fast paced and you have to be like mainly for the consumer and you have to like – have something pretty and most of the stuff that i do isn't really pretty if it's for my own mm-hmm. like what i want to do so if it were up to me and there was no consequences of like fin- financial stuff or anything i'd want to be an artist but unfortunately i don't think i'd be stable on that at all that makes sense so i'm starting off in like something writing for college at least i'm starting off in writing and being able to like be really good at my use of language so then if I, like, want to transfer to something else, like, I can explain my thoughts way more clearly, if that mm-hmm. makes sense. I want to be an author. You want to be an author? So like, I can I can make passive income. Or non-fiction income? Or... What? Sorry, I, like, mix your words with my brain. Does that make sense? Um, nope. Dang it. Fiction or non-fiction or, like... Fiction. Fiction? First. And then maybe a little non-fiction. That's cool. Sprinkle... Like autobiography nonfiction or like um, biography? I don't know. I think it would probably be something um, – I could write a book opposing abortion called The Elephant in the Womb. Oh, really? That that sounds like a cool title. Like, would that be fiction or nonfiction? That would be fiction? nonfiction because it would just be like – You could also make it a fiction if you had a story to go with it. Uh, yeah, and then I'm definitely going to write a series of essays – um opposing the uh the education system the education system is so screwed i talked about that with katie really it's i, so I made a whole fun. whole youtube short about it you could have watched really? i need to post those on instagram Actually, i haven't been on youtube like at all for lint did you give that up for lint no i'm just i didn't think of <laughs> getting on youtube <laughs> Um, yeah, my podcast is on YouTube and Spotify and everywhere else you listen to podcasts. Really? I actually, surprisingly, there's a lot more people who watch it on YouTube than on podcasts, like listening to it. Yeah, I think it's more amusing. Honestly, I'm not a humongous fan of podcasts because I listen to myself talk enough because I talk to myself. <laughs> and then uh-huh. when I listen to other people talk, I want to add on to it. Mm. But I can't because they're talking. And I'm like, wait, 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 listen, guys. <laughs> not really because that sounds uh-huh. super dumb, but, like, I'd want to mm-hmm. be there. So I just don't. But, like, when I'm watching the people's expressions and, like, it matches their faces, it's way more amusing to me if that makes sense. Mm. So I think I like watching YouTube channels over podcasts. Also, if I'm listening to podcasts, it's probably in the car, and I can't really switch and skip, like, backwards or forwards if I miss something. Mm-hmm. Um, do you miss things? Do you, like, trail off in your own train of thought so you have to... Yes. And, like, shows and everything. It's so in bad. shows? Yes. <laughs> you're just, like, in your own heads. You're just like, wait, what happened last scene? <laughs> yeah. Like, community, I have to go back, like, multiple times. Or, like, even if it's 10 seconds, like, oh, I forgot what he totally said because I was in my own world for, like, 10 seconds. And then I went back. Uh, so. Bug. Bug. Do you ever, like, whoa. Um, do you ever, when you're writing a word, do you ever get ahead of yourself and, like, put a letter that's, like, supposed to be after a letter? But yes! Have, like, go back yes! But, like, it's become such a habit that, like, you don't even think that that's weird. You just go back. Yeah, I'll, I'll like, put the last letter as the first letter. Yeah, and then you have to, like, fix it. Mm-hmm. Or do you ever write... Like, what's a word? 
Um, An easy word to spell. Please. Pneumonal ultramicroscopic silica volcanoconiosis. Um, we're going to rewind and not use that word. And use um, that word. Bell. That's too simple. I need okay. to Um, Ekphrasis. No way am I able to spell that. Too. Clementine. <laughs> I don't know if I can spell that. Ballpark. Okay, ballpark. So I'd be like B A L L P R K. Oh, wait, no. A. Put in the middle of the R. Wait. Put in. Yeah. Put in the middle of the P and the R, and you like put the A in. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? You were in your own. I'd probably mind spell it like, Allbark. Allbark? Yeah. Like, that's how I'd spell it at first, and then I'd go back and fix it. See, so I'd be like B A L. Probably skip an L on accident. P, skip the A on accident. Go back and do the L. Mm-hmm. R, go back and do the A, K. Uh-huh. That's, yeah, that's what I was talking about. What's your morning routine? My morning routine? Okay, I have like 10 different alarms. So I go through all of the alarms, right? And each of them are like, it starts off. One second, I actually have my alarms right here. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, first alarm, 6.15, second, 25, so 10 minute increment, then 5 minutes, then 10 minutes again, <laughs> and then 5 minutes, and then 5 minutes, and then 5 minutes, and then 5 minutes, and then that's when the alarms end, but then I see it's 7 o'clock, and then I put a 5 minute timer on, <laughs> and that goes on for like... Why you just turn off all the alarms except for one? Because then I'll totally forget. Does that make sense? You're anyway, but ruining, I up- you're not giving yourself more sleep and you're not giving yourself more time awake. You're just making more nothing time by having all those alarms. Or I'm just like slowly waking up because I have to wake up and turn my whole head and body and use my <laughs> finger to slap it multiple times. But I'm always like a little bit above the button. So I'm like <laughs> <laughs> until I finally get it. Uh-huh. Does that make sense? And then what? What do you do when you get and up? And then after that, I like kind of stumble into my bathroom. But it's dark out now because of stupid daylight savings. Uh-huh. I'm like, I should be asleep right now. <laughs> but I go into my bathroom and I pee. Number one rule of the day Slay. is pee. And then I um, wash my face, put on moisturizer, brush my teeth, and then mouthwash and floss and that stuff. And then I go downstairs. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, no, I put pants on because it gets so hot in the bed. <laughs> and, like, I don't wear pants. Uh-huh. But pants on before I go downstairs. Uh-huh. And then I get coconut water. In the morning? Oh gosh, coconut water is so good. I drink coconut water more than I drink water. It's so good. You know that's what's in prime hydration? That's probably why I feel like a million bucks, man. <laughs> um, anyway, I get coconut water. I go back upstairs. Chevy's screaming at me because he wants me to feed him. And I'm like, oh, shoot. I forgot to put on deodorant most of the time. Usually mm-hmm. I put it on when I'm like after I brush my teeth or whatever. Then I put on deodorant, get dressed or whatever. You don't take a shower? Well, that's like every other day. Oh. I take one every day. Well, I don't want to wash my hair. Because I'm a normal person. Well, you don't, don't wash your hair. Just I know, but like, if you get in the shower. Put it in a bun and then just you wash see your my body. Ears? What? You see my ears? I'm so. I don't see your ears because they're covered by your hair. Exactly. <laughs> Do you think I'd wear a bun? No. In the shower so it doesn't wet your oh. hair. How do you stand in the shower? Do you face the faucet? No, or do you, you face can, you the can, wall? Whatever. Continue. Because, like, I wash my face in the shower, too, when I take a shower in the morning. Oh, I don't wash my face in the shower. I do. When I, when I, I mean, after I'm done crying day. in the shower every morning. Gross? Do I need to, like, reevaluate everything I've ever done in my life? No, I mean, if you go back 100 years, people didn't shower... People showered maybe once a week or something like oh, that. I smell weird after like two. Like I can't go not go past the limit of. You smell weird already. Don't even think that. Okay, it's... A better web. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. Recently, I've been told that I smell like a grandma, <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's affected my daily life. Uh-huh. Like genuinely, I've wanted to start like embroidering and crocheting, <laughs> and like I've drink. I drink. You're a getting lot those more urges tea. now. I drink a lot more. Did you tea. get bit I by a radioactive grandma? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe. I would genuinely, like, I want to invest in sweaters. <laughs> For some reason, children are making me, like, super... Uh-huh. <laughs> Maternal. Like, like, yeah, I'm like, I want to hold the child. Uh-huh. And then that's it. Actually, no, that's not it. But I always, like, think... I see people get plastic surgery when they're older, and I'm like, I actually love when people have wrinkles. I think it's so funny. Yeah. I think it's like, Haley has wrinkles already. Is that funny? Because she lives in such dry weather. She has wrinkles all over her forehead and right here. She should moisturize then. She should. My mom talks about it all the time. (gasps) You're watching this. You're not. Turn around. Spilling the tea on To Interview Them podcast. That's what it's called? To interview them, yeah. To interview them? Yeah. Huh. You didn't even know the name of the podcast no, before you came on? Uh oh. My bad. Anyway. But now I think. What, what if I was going to murder you? I would have done it in eighth grade. I hated you in eighth grade. Oh my gosh. That makes sense. I kind of hated myself in eighth grade. I hated myself too in eighth grade, and ninth grade, and tenth grade, and eleventh grade. Twelfth grade? <laughs> I'm getting better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had like a huge era where I hated myself in seventh and eighth grade. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it kind of went into ninth grade, maybe a little bit of tenth. Maybe a tiny bit of eleventh. Maybe. <laughs> maybe still going on. <sighs> Just occasionally. I'm way better at it though. Uh-huh. Like, I gained my self confidence a lot. Okay, wait. It pl- okay, it goes in waves. Do you ever get that? Yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah. your self confidence goes in waves. And it's so difficult because makeup is a huge thing with that. Mm. I'm like, I used to wear like just mascara, and now I'm like, let's do a whole routine. Except I don't cover my zits very well. That's that's like the main point. Mm. But I don't do that because I'm. The winged eyeliner is fun. I like it. I really like it. I think it looks cool. Like, very quirky. And then, like whenever I want to feel pretty, I'm like, I have to have winged eyeliner if mm. that makes sense. But that's not shouldn't be that way sometimes yeah. i find myself pretty without makeup but it's really difficult mm-hmm. to get that if that makes sense so i've been working hard at it. actually sometimes i just go with no makeup anywhere but like to people i really want to impress it's really hard for me to like not wear makeup if that makes sense yeah i mean i wouldn't know i know but i mean do you have anything similar to that though um i mean I don't know. I mostly it's about I I get everything I hate about myself is how much work I do. Like like if I don't I'm always thinking I'm not doing enough in everything. Like I'm not learning enough, I'm not working out enough, I'm not reading enough, I'm not writing enough, I'm not doing anything enough. I'm not making enough money, I'm not doing anything enough. Like like that's that's how it is for me. I understand that. And And so it's just, and like, it's so, because on one hand, like, I am able to, to rationalize like, oh, yeah, you're like, you're not working out as much as you can possibly, possibly can, but you're, you're comfortable enough and you're making progress. That's all that matters. But, and but with stuff like i i had a vision of where i would be at this time and i'm not there and so there are times like there are things in my life where i'm like i can very accurately tell myself hey you're not being there enough mm-hmm. and i just have to give it over to other people to like people i trust to to say hey you are enough yeah. not to stop because you are you have to make progress over time, but just you don't have to worry about making pr- so much progress so fast. Yeah. I don't know. I'm really difficult at seeing progress happen unless it's, like, immediate. Mm. Um, and, yeah. I don't know. So, like, going to the gym has never been, like, huge. Well, that's the thing is that, like, you – I didn't – go to the gym consistently until I hated myself enough to do it. Like I I went there to just to like put my frustration out. Like cuz it just felt good to pull weights instead of being like you you suck internally. Like and then translate that. 
and then you take progress pictures every time you go. And then I started in January, and it's very obvious to me to see the progress I've made so far. Really? Yeah. Like, and so you just, you don't go into it expecting tomorrow I'm going to look like a Greek god. Mm -hmm. you, you go into it saying, I'm going to, I mean, if you start now, you won't be able to say this. But, like, for me, I started in January. Like, I'm going to be able to be comfortable taking my shirt off in the summer. Yeah. Like, Ooh. Maybe I should have started in January. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, that's that's my thought process, is that, like, it's not that I'm going to look like Tom Holland, even though my girlfriend is obsessed with Tom Holland, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but I'm not going to be so self-conscious when, I, when I'm... Shirtless. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like self-confidence also... I have a huge problem with procrastination because mm. i get distracted really fast mm -hmm. so procrastination has always been like always been there so when i don't get something done and it's so prominent to me that i don't have it done mm -hmm. um i'm like oh i need like i my self-confidence kind of plummets there because i'm like oh i'm never gonna be good enough to have everything done at one point mm -hmm. i'm always going to be stressed no matter what and then that sends me into like another trail and then i procrastinate more because that's bothering me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I want to focus on mental health above <laughs> anything else. <laughs> but uh -huh. it's just me procrastinating more. Does that make sense? Yeah. I, I've found that, and I'm still terrible at this, but if I jot down the things I need to do just by writing them down so I have a list, because if I don't, then I'll just forget what I need to do, and then I'll remember it at one point, but I won't be able to do it at that exact time, and then I'll forget it again. So if I just make a list of it, then when I have a free day where I'm not working and I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that, I can just do like, all right, let me do this one thing. Really? Yeah, because then you, you make a list of it, of all the things you need to do, and then when you get a uh, free time and you hate yourself for how much YouTube you watch, then you can... So you can go to that thing and you just be like, all right, let me do this one thing and then I'll feel accomplished. It's so weird to me because um, I'm not a very goal-oriented person. Like, when mm. I accomplish something, I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's not uh -huh. like an accomplishment to mm -hmm. me. Um, so, like, when I'm doing tasks and I have to get something done, when I finally cross them off, it's not, like, some huge big deal that, like, everyone's been explaining to me, like, Cameron, it's huge weight off your shoulders. But it's literally just like an <laughs> X in a box uh -huh. or something. So like I've never really been good with lists or anything goal oriented in general. Look Where at look at that that opposite. beautiful VW Beetle. It's beautiful. I I love that the new Beetles. That's a new Beetle. Yeah, it's like a 2017 or something. Oh, that's not really like a new car though, because they make cars every month, right? Well, every year usually. Oh. But, but the Beatles has, like, the VW Beetle has been around since, like, the 70s. Yeah. And I've so seen it is a new ones. one. But was there, like, an older model than that that I've seen recently other than, like, these super old models? Well, I'm just saying because I don't know exactly how, how old that is. It could be a 2020, could be a 2018, could be a 2019. But it's definitely not one from the early 2000s or from the 80s or from the 70s yeah i understand that i'm not big into cars though so i don't really know i am <laughs> uh-huh i did have a hot wheel when i was younger though and it was my favorite <laughs> thing in the whole world if you could have one car any price um probably would be my hot wheel car but in real life <laughs> <laughs> what Hot Wheel was it? I mean, it wasn't anything, like, special. And it wasn't anything that, like, you would see me driving ever. I just kind of have an emotional attachment to this Hot but Wheel. What car was it? You don't... Um, was it a real car? Was it, like, I, one of the ones with, like, the Batmobile or, like... It looked like the Batmobile. So it was, like, a... I always called it a... Wait, I always called it a Bugatti because those are the most <laughs> expensive cars I've ever heard of at the time. Uh-huh. So I was, like... Bugatti? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, um, I called it that, and it was purple, like, transparent purple, kind of, in black. And uh -huh. it had teal wheels. Interesting. That would, like, circle as they went. Mm -hmm. And it, 
I don't know. I thought it looked cool. I thought it looked really much like in Tron. <laughs> Do you uh-huh. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I yeah, yeah. The, like, car. So I thought was it, it the car from Tron? I don't know. From Tron Legacy? Look up Tron Legacy. Uh, he just texted me that he took a cold shower. <laughs> <laughs> I took one of those this morning. Really? Yeah. Those feel good in the summertime. I can't do it in this weather because this is perfect weather. Well, I was so... I dreaded it so much and I was like, dang. That means I should probably take one. Uh, that's what Nate did for Lent. Oh, I, I, I started taking them during Lent, but I was like, I'm not going to make that an obligation every day. Okay, it looked like the Tron car, but it wasn't. Let me see. This Let me is see. the Tron car. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not that Tron car. Well, well, no. Let of? me see. Let me see. Hold on. Technical difficulties, like that. No. No. It was purple. Guys, if you've ever seen the movie Tron Legacy. Um, the, the cool love interest, the, <laughs> from the movie drives a four, four wheel car, not, not the, not the bikes, but the, this cool car she's got. I'm looking at the Hot Wheel right now. Hot Wheel. Sport car, Hot Wheel. Sport. Do you understand how many Hot Wheels cars there have been, Camden? Wait, let me look up the colors then. Purple. Oh, hold on. Purple and cyan. Don't even fret. Where is it? It was so cool looking though. Okay, it's not. I'm gonna be so shocked if you find this car. Was it even a Hot Wheel? Okay, so it kind of looked like this. Oh. But different. Okay. And it was so cool. It looked transparent. <laughs> I'm never going to forgive myself for losing that. But that would be the car that mm-hmm. I would have. Mm-hmm. I thought it was so cool. Have you ever taken a cold shower? I have. Like in the winter, though? Um, One time, because I was curious. But never again. Curious Jorge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Curiosity didn't kill me. Like it killed the cat. Every every time some I hear a, <laughs> a joke, like not a joke, but like every time I hear somebody's cat die, I just like I just think curiosity got him again. No, oh my gosh, did you ever watch Courage the Cowardly Dog? No. Neither did I, except for one episode. <laughs> <laughs> for one episode, Haley and I were just like, why don't we just watch it? Scared the living bejesus. Oh, give me the the one with the the creepy guy. And he's like, Wait. with the fog rolling in underneath him, and he's like, ah, oh, what's it called? I, I saw it. I, I saw there was this really spooky episode. There's always a spooky episode, though. Were there it? multiple sco- spooky episodes? Every episode of Courage was a spooky episode. Oh. That's why we didn't really watch it. Does that make sense? That's valid. I've never seen it, so I don't there know. Was this one episode was basically the song Hotel California, mm-hmm. but with courage, and there was no dogs allowed, and <gasps> courage was a dog, and the owner was a cat, <gasps> and oh my gosh, this cat had the most fabulous voice in the world. <laughs> like, if you ever look up, I don't know, Cat from Courage the Cowardly Dog, there's like a compilation of just him talking. <laughs> the most fabulous voice I've ever heard. But it's like deep and British or something. And he's just... Did you watch Puss in Boots: The Last Wish? No, I didn't. Everybody told me that I should. Okay, so one of the bad guys in that movie is this wolf with with sickles, two two sickles, um, and it, it's like you know the the Russian um, uh, USSR flag. Like with the sure. with the hammer and the sickle. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I've seen clips of it. Um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna spoil a tiny bit of this movie. So if you want to skip forward, like. <laughs> spoil it! I haven't seen it. Oh, do you? It's not that big a deal. Apparently it was. People were like, "This is cool." No, no, no. The movie was great. I'm just saying the spoiler is not. It's pretty obvious. Oh. Okay. 
Do you want me to tell you or not? Yeah. I, okay. Um, so just skip ahead like a minute if you're Greg Willits and you don't like spoilers. Um, for Puss in Boots. Specifically. For Puss in Boots, The Last <laughs> Wish. Um, so there's this wolf guy and he's death. Like he's chasing after Puss because... He's the Grim Reaper? He's the Grim Reaper. <gasps> because Puss is on his last life. His last life, yeah. Oh my gosh, you know the original Puss in Boots movie? Hold on. That's my favorite movie. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, so... So I was... Somebody was talking about, like, how their their cat died. Um, and then I was just like... Uh, curiosity is standing in the corner with two sickles just like standing there walking towards him oh, yeah. it, they really they hard. really missed an opportunity in that movie to call the the wolf curiosity oh that would have been so smart what was the wolf's name just death death he, he's death he's a wolf he's scary too like oh gosh, the furries were going crazy <laughs> <laughs> did you see the bad guys the um oh i've seen i've seen i know what it is mm. hold on did the furries uh, go crazy over that movie wolf uh to be honest if there's any furries watching because <laughs> you go crazy over the bad guys it would be so for real okay look at look at how creepy this dude looks he kind of looks like an alligator <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? But there's there's one shot because he's like huge and then and then puss is like a cat, you know? Um and so and so his snout is like the size of the cat. But it's like massive and he's just staring at him with his big beady red eyes and I was like, This is the most creeped out I've been by a villain in a kid's movie since uh Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Hold on. Is you framed Roger Rabbit the one was like live action but also animated? Yes. Yeah. The love interest in that movie. How did that pass? What do you What do you, you mean? Know what I'm talking about. What? She like wore the red dress. Yeah. How did that pass? Jessica Rabbit. That's Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. She's Who not did, a rabbit though, is she? But she married Roger Rabbit, so she took his last name. Roger Rabbit married her? Or she married yeah. Roger Rabbit? They married each other. <laughs> huh. I haven't seen the movie in such a long time. But the... Hold on. Oh, we have one minute and oh. a half. One and a half minutes. Okay. Um, The bad guy in the movie was played by um, Christopher Lloyd, who played Doc Brown in Back to the Future. But really? he's he's got like... He's he's creepy. That's all I'm saying. Creepy. Oh, is that my dad? That's my dad pulling up. Oh, no way. Okay, I'll pull up. All right, Camden Height. It was wonderful having you on the show. Thank you for having me. I hope this wasn't too awful to listen to. Uh, yes, we'll get some. I'll throw a poll on Spotify. Um, never have or just comment if you've Spotify? made it this far. Yeah, you can put polls on Spotify. Really? Yeah. I forgot this was like a podcast. This is a podcast. Yeah. You can listen to it on Spotify. You can follow it on Spotify. Rate it five stars. I will do that. All right. Good luck, Charlie. <laughs>